Hi guys, I have something interesting here. So recently I saw a video from Vic Clive. Maybe you know him. He's always doing some kind of reviews of electronic devices and stuff. And last week he has shown a device which for me it sounds like a gimmick, but it fits exactly into what we are doing here. So without further delay, let's see what it is and what we can exactly do with this. Right, so this here is the item, Thompson Lightning Strike Counter. I have my quality issues with Thompson, but yeah, we have to uh, forget about that in this case, because nobody else is doing this. So you can find a review on Big Clive's channel. And he has also opened this up. He removed the circuit board and he also made the schematics. This is a standard DIN rail. Here on the up comes the power. They say it's a 220 volt AC device. Uh, yeah, I think it should. What I saw from the uh, schematics also actually work on 120 volt if you want to use this in the United States. And here on the down is the CT. Yeah, it's a very short length of wire, so you have to install this really right next to your surge protectors, which you have to monitor. So here inside will be a display, 0 to 999 counts and a reset button here. What else can we read here? So the counts and then we have an action impulse current of one kilo amps or more. So that's quite a high current which may only occur when you have lightnings. How well this will work? This is just a question of testing. So how does this work now? What you need is a SPD, a surge protective device. This one is a three pole plus neutral, but you can also have something like this, just one pole and neutral. How is this monitored? You just put this CT over your grounding wire and this is then connected to the counter. Somehow like this. If you have a surge coming in at the input here, at your surge protective device, the current will go through this varistor here, which is built in the surge protective device, and then will be directed to the ground wire. This is actually quite perfect if you have uh, multiple phases. It doesn't matter where the surge is coming in, through which phase you will then see actual any surge on any phase here, because at the end everything is going the same ground wire. And this is cool. And this will be also the way how we will install it. I have the perfect place for this, of course, and that is the main distribution panel at the three phase SPD. And now we are going there and we will install this inside there. So here at my main distribution panel, this is the place where uh, the meter will be installed, the counter. So it will come here right next to the three phase main SPD. This is a type one, type two. So this is actually meant to also remove spikes from lightnings which are coming into the grid. So the CT will be put over these two ground wires here. The power I have to get here from the up. What you always want to do is connect such a meter here in such a panel, always wire a fuse. So here I have three fuses which are protecting all these meters here. If you do not have a protective fuse at your power supply and the meter gets a short or something, this could easily go up in flames. 
So that's why always use fast blowing fuses when you connect such devices. We have now a lightning strike counter here. The display is showing 3 times 0 and AC in and on the other side our CT. The only thing we can do now is wait and see what the display will show after some time has passed, after some thunderstorms have gone through the area. So this experiment comes now actually at the time which is most perfect for this. In a few weeks I'm on the way again to Austria. I will stay there for around four months again as every year. So doing a little bit harvest etc. helping my parents. During this time here it is also the rainy season. There will be thunderstorms every few days. So there should be plenty of surges coming via the grid if there are and we will then see what the counter will show and if this is all working or not. But now of course the question is what will that information tell us? So just picture the display showing let's say if the number 15 uh, when I come back in four months. So if it registers 15 spikes on the SPD what does this actually mean? Does it mean that it wears out the SPD? Should we then uh, replace the SPD, the cartridge there or whatever? I don't know. So if you have still a green window in the SPD, is, does that mean the SPD is good? Or does it, you know, that, that is not written down anywhere. So the SPD manufacturer will not tell you how many searches it can take. Or also this counter will not tell you if uh, there is a certain limit uh, uh, which is wearing out the SPD etc. So that's why it's a, some kind of a gimmick but anyway maybe this is a kind of interesting information just to know about it. As I said probably this is the last video before I go to Austria and maybe there's something I can show you from there as well but yeah nobody knows really. Thank you for watching and yeah, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel and I see you then next time.